Welcome to your CCPS Science Review Lab. Let's take a look at these two images. Can you figure out the relationship between them? On the left hand side, we have something labeled kinetic energy versus potential energy. And on the right, we seem to have three different containers holding three different substances in three different phases of matter. What do you think the relationship is? Well, if you guessed that here on the right, we've got phases of matter, and here on the left, we have phases or stages of energy, you would be correct. So the same way matter can be either a solid, a liquid, or a gas, energy can either be kinetic or potential. Let's take a closer look. Okay. Here, we've got someone riding their bicycle, and as they're riding their bicycle, yes, there is energy that they're using. Okay, that's the energy of motion, that's kinetic energy. But as they're going up this hill, they are also increasing the other phase of energy, and that's potential energy. Because once they get to the top and they're hanging out there, their potential energy, or the energy that they have saved up to use, is more than it was down on the bottom. So it's increasing, you see energy in, they're gaining potential energy as they're going up the hill, then, as they're moving down the hill, we have kinetic energy. That's the phase, kinetic energy, as they are moving down the hill. So potential energy is energy that is stored or saved. And kinetic energy is energy in motion. Okay, so if we go to the picture on the right here, we've got potential energy because we know that there's gravity, gravitational energy pulling down on this ball. Now it's not going anywhere because she's holding on to it, right? So this ball right now, based on its position, has potential energy. It's holding energy inside it, so to speak. Once the girl lets go, that potential energy transforms into kinetic energy. So that brings us back to one of the big rules that we know is that energy can only be transformed or transferred. It cannot be created nor can it be destroyed. And it transforms and transfers based on these different forms or phases of energy. And the two phases of energy you're responsible for knowing are potential, that's the saved energy, and kinetic, that's the energy of motion. Okay, why don't you get out your notebook and there's a chance for you to show what you know. Once again, we've got the definitions up here. They say kinetic energy is energy that is working. Working is another word in this case for movement, right? And look at each of these examples and decide which are examples of energy in its potential phase versus energy in its kinetic phase. Good luck.